Oh, hey, babe. Hey. <laughs> What's up? I'm here. We're here. I'm honored. Thank you. <laughs> oh Thank you God. for having me. I love you. You're so sweet. I literally, literally was like, you know what? I like feel like she's just like a mini me. I love it. I love her. She's so I sweet. I mean, we're both Middle Eastern. Yeah, so we are. The vibe was right. Shout out to us. Okay. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, I was born in Maryland. Mm-hmm. I moved to LA when I was four. So like LA, I guess. But my parents are Persian. So I'm Persian. Hey now. Okay. Mm-hmm. And how was that like growing up in a Persian household? It was different. Like my parents would be like, you can have your friends over, but they have to take off their shoes when they come in. And I was like shaking. I'm like, how am I going to tell them they have to take their shoes off because we have Persian rugs? That was like the only (laughs) thing. I was like embarrassed of it. Now I'm like kind of happy we did that. Real Persian rugs. Yeah. The real shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they were like, they can't get their outside shoes on it. And I was like, how am I going to tell my white friends this? I know. Literally. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I know. No, it does get like that sometimes. Yeah. Culture difference. Yeah. It was like hard. Yeah. But I mean, how was it when you wanted to start doing the social media thing? Oh, right. Um, <laughs> I feel like they always knew that I, like when I was younger, I wanted to be an actor or a YouTuber. Right. It's been like a thing. It's right. been a thing. I've right. warned them. I right. was like, yeah, I want to do this. And they were like, okay, sure. They like Especially growing up in LA. Yeah. Like, they like didn't believe me. Yeah. They didn't think it would happen. But now that it's happening, they're pretty supportive. So. Really? Yeah. So how did it happen? Like, how did it start? Um, so I've been like doing YouTube videos since I was seven. Wow. Yeah. I took them all down. They're not up anymore. Oh, thank wow. God. They were so That's embarrassing. Insane. Imagine like being seven. Yeah. No, I can You do some imagine. pretty embarrassing stuff. I can stuff. only imagine. Yeah. And you were just recording yourself? Pretty much. I would like, I would like pretend to be other YouTubers. Oh, that's so yeah. cute though. And then like senior year, I started doing it again. And then like some of my close friends that aren't my friends anymore were like right. making fun of me. And I was like, Girl. but not to my face. They would like, that's be, like how you oh. know you're doing something right. Yeah. They'd be like, oh my God, it's awesome. And then behind my back, they'd be like, does she really think she's going to get yeah, to work this? this girl. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Um, I met a lot of like, I, like right after high school, all my friends went up to, off to like colleges and I went to community college and I was really bored. I would love parties and stuff. And I was really bored. I was like, I need to find parties. So at these parties, I found some friends who were influencers and they were like, yeah, you should do it again. Like we could help you behind the scenes. Like, you know? Right. So I did it and they taught me a lot. And ever since then, it wow. kind of worked out. Yeah. It That's was kind of like an overnight thing, like a couple of months and then suddenly. Wow. Yeah. It was exciting. Wow. And then like, so you were doing YouTube videos and then you're making friends and then what started, like what started happening? I started making friends and I started going to like parties and then I met my boyfriend and he really helped me out. He like wow. taught me everything I needed to know and we weren't even public about it because I, I was like, I don't want people thinking that like that this I only like, happened because yeah. of you. Yeah. So, um, and he was trying to keep it private too because we wouldn't know how long we lasted, you right. know? Right. And so. How long have you guys been together? Two years a week ago. Wow. It's kind of long. I mean, what? In LA, that's like right? 10 years. It's like that's marriage. Awesome. That's yeah. like you're married. No, that's amazing. That's <laughs> amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, so he helped me a lot in the beginning and then it kind of took off. And then we became public and obviously I got to be in more videos and it just wow. happened. Wow. Yeah. And like, do you feel like the social media, like, does it affect your relationship? Yeah. Because like, not only are we like boyfriend, girlfriend, we're best friends, but we're also like coworkers. Right. You so like. business relationship yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's a but like, different. what do you feel like, how do you feel like that affects like you guys, like your connection? I feel like if we're ever fighting, it's the only thing we'd fight about. Is okay. Work stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Other, which is good though. That means right. like our relationship's good. Right. Um, how does it affect us? I mean, I don't know. It's like different to have a boyfriend be a coworker. Yeah. Yeah. Doing the same thing as you. It's, it's kind of good in a sense where it's like he's understanding about it and I'm right. understanding on that side. No, exactly. That's the, that's the truth. Yeah. yeah. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for anything. Like right. I wouldn't take it for granted. Like I take it for granted. I think right. I take it for granted. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like we do that as humans though. Yeah, totally. Because we don't realize, you know what I mean? But at the same time, then you do realize and you're like, I love you. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. I'm sorry. I took it for granted. I know, I know. You don't know what you have till it's gone. I know, exactly. <laughs> but you know what it is? It's like, but like does people like what people say and like Uh, negativity does that affect you guys at all or do you like or like whatever not really I ignore it I'm pretty good at that yeah um people I knew in high school have said like oh their relationship's fake like you Uh, know how like in Hollywood a lot of relationships aren't real right right so they thought a lot of people from my school who weren't my close friends who like graduated it was just complete fake thought it was fake and there was like a rumor like my friend told me I feel like people in LA love to be able to be like oh I there's fake and I'm calling it out yeah, like I know it is. Like someone, like, who, why? like someone told me. Like the other day I did this TikTok with a couple TikTokers and they like, you know, they they do like the skits. 
and we were doing a TikTok to one of my songs and like obviously like it was like one of those things that was like one of those like pranky things and yeah. it was like a little fake. Yeah. And like these little kids were just like, oh, it's fake and we're going to make a duet and we're going to say that it's fake. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, like, okay. Yeah, that's I don't really care. But like at the same time, I'm like, well, it's just for my song. I don't care. But like the TikTok was like really worried because they're like, oh no. Like, da, 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 yeah, people, want. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, I don't understand why people love seeing like people downfall like yeah. their fall like people love seeing people fall yeah and i try not like, to take anything and it's like I'm even scared. little kids now like little kids are like i'm saying that it's fake and yeah like, you're like seven i know like, what happened i know now you? imagine that except it's your whole two-year relationship and yeah. you hear from a friend who's a friend yeah that's someone in that community college is right. going around being like yeah it's fake it's fake yeah and it's just like how are you gonna tell me <laughs> what my relationship right. is it was just weird i was like you don't know me like you yeah. went to high school with me how did it was weird. Yeah. I don't care, though. But I feel like that brings you guys closer together, too, at the same time. Yeah. I, it's like, it was more of a funny story. It didn't really yeah. affect me at all. Yeah. That's so fire, though. Yeah. Like, literally, do you love being in a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I do. But I feel like if you were to <laughs> tell me, if you're, the silence, I was like, if you were to tell me, like, three years ago, like, yeah, you're going to be in, like, a long, committed, loyal relationship, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Not my thing. Right. But I am glad I am in one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much out here in these streets. Right. It's like when you find a good one. Just it. keep it. Yeah, just keep yeah. it. Yeah. It's like yeah. whatever. I get it. Especially in LA. I feel like when you have something Imagine real. growing up here. Yeah. Ex- yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but you, but at the same time, because you grew up here, you know what it's about. Yeah. Whereas like someone coming from yeah. like, you know, like I'm from New York, it's so different. Mm-hmm. Or like mm-hmm. the East Coast in general is just so different. So it's like knowing what it's about, you know how to like – maneuver you mm-hmm. know what I mean like do you feel like that do you feel like being from here it like helps you to just maneuver 100%. in the industry or maneuver in like the entertainment world like yeah like short answer yes 100% yeah. it's like being raised here it taught me a lot like yeah. my boyfriend's from Kansas like middle of nowhere Kansas wow that's yeah. crazy so it was kind of like he'll be like oh let's go this place and I'm like oh I've been there a hundred times so you guys like teach each other kind of thing sort of so, yeah yeah which is so yeah. fire okay so I think right now I like wrote down some things I wanted to do like you know, like the hot topics, some like questions, okay. like, you know, just to see what your what your preferences are. Okay, know? fun. Some simple stuff, some easy okay. stuff. We're not going too risque. I I'm know, ready. I know, we're not. Okay, so vanilla or chocolate? Oh, like ice cream? Yeah. Or Choc- in general. Yeah. <laughs> chocolate. Yummy. Um, your biggest phobia? Oh, my God. The dentist. Oh, okay. That's a good one. My uncle's a dentist, but I can't. I scream and cry. Like, I kick yeah. my feet. Oh, my God. I totally understand. Yeah. I totally feel I don't the like way. the dentist. What's your I phobia? I kind of would say the same. Dentists suck. Yeah, I kind of would say the same. They take I one for it. the team. And it's so funny because I just recently, like, went to go, like, fix up my teeth and, like, whiten them and stuff. And I was Whitening just... Whitening doesn't scare me. And it's it, when they put yeah. the drill in your mouth. It's when that... You know what really is the worst thing I to me? I know exactly what you're going to say. It's that... That... <laughs> that thing that then they clean the teeth and oh it's God. like just picking at your teeth and you're just hearing them like <laughs> and it's like oh and my brain is I don't like, like the taste All yeah I hate it taste. yeah and like oh it's so gross yeah I would agree with that that's a good the one dentist that's a good one yeah okay Beyonce or Cardi B that's such a hard question <laughs> Beyonce Beyonce I think it's hard because it's like the two sides of you like yeah. are you more ratchet or are you more like I, yeah, I like Beyonce, sweet. I think, better. Yeah. I like I like Cardi B's music a lot. But yeah. I think Beyonce because she's like OG, like yeah. old. Yeah. Like the, yeah. True, true. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Um, your favorite designer? Um, or your favorite like brand or like who you like okay. to wear? Uh, I've been really into Vivian Westwood right now. Like Vivian Ooh, Westwood jewelry. I, got, I like, like that. But I would say I, I own pro- – Gucci's not my favorite, but I probably own the most. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, Gucci. Vivian was it. That's a good one. Yeah. What's yours? Ooh, classy. I mean, my favorite design is probably Tom Ford. Oh. They have really good cologne. Yeah. I know that's random, but I like No, like Tom Ford is just like the, like, just like classy, expensive, Mm -hmm. just mm, Tom Ford. But um, I I have a lot of like Louis stuff though, I have to say. Like, I love Louis just because I'm flashy as hell. And yeah. I just like the flashy stuff. Oh, another thing, probably Chanel. I don't have a lot of Chanel, yeah. but I feel like it's I so love pretty. Chanel stuff. I feel like pretty girls wear Chanel. I love everything. You know yeah, I'm such a. Are you like a girly girl or are you a tomboy? 
I don't know. I feel like I'm like an exact in between. In between. It's okay, weird. I like that. I feel like that a little bit about me too. Like younger, I was like really girly girl heavy, but now I feel like I've been really tapped into like sometimes I just want to wear sneakers and just yeah. like t-shirts and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I feel like I'm like exactly in between. Yeah. I don't explain it. Because I feel like it's like with Chanel, like I love like just – Everything about like my pillows, like everything is just like so girly mm-hmm. and stuff. I love that. But then at the same time, I love Supreme. I love like yeah. Cape. I love like. I get what you mean. Yeah. Like I love the street brands too. So mm-hmm. it's like balance. Yeah. Like find you a girl that could do both. We are both. Right. That's I am fun. both. Period. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I like both. Okay. Introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. Oh my God. Oh my God. I cannot stay in the house for more than an hour. I lose <laughs> my mind. Like if I'm in the house for more than an hour, I'm just like, I have to walk in my backyard. So how do you walk. feel like with the panoramic? <laughs> with panoramic. The pan- <laughs> um, I've been going on a lot of walks. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I got a dog. I like that. I got two. During, yeah. during the pandemic and it's been helping. I feel I'm less that. lonely. So you got, pa- yeah, I got a pandemic. I got two pandemic dogs because I was that lonely. Yeah. I'm getting two. I feel that. <laughs> I really do. Now I'm like wanting to travel now and I'm like, how am I going to do with my two dogs now? Yeah. It's been lonely. I know. It is. It, it has. The pandemic has been like, yeah. Yeah. It's been hard. Definitely, especially for extroverted people, because I feel like I'm an extrovert too. Me too. It's made me be an introvert, which I don't want to be. <laughs> like I you feel know, like I'm not. I thought it'd make me into one, and it didn't. Yeah, it made you like, more. Oh my like, god, when cringe. it's gonna be over. Yeah, yeah. I feel the same way, mm-hmm. especially because like I like like going to like gyms and yoga and spa. Like that's what I miss. Oh really? Yeah. I miss like going out at night and staying out to like four in the morning. Yeah, I miss going out too. Like, cause I miss just having being able to go to events and parties and like have fun. But I really just miss like that, like that, you know, like the spas. Yeah. This, like I just I love that. that kind of stuff. I miss meeting like new people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I miss being, that too. Like, oh, you're a stranger, but you're so nice. That's probably the number that. one thing that I yeah. miss. Cause I feel like I'm such a people person. Me too. And I love like not like I just love meeting new people in my and having new people in my life. And I just met this really cool person. Yeah. Like I love being able to do that. I'm surprised then, I'm even here. Yeah. Exactly. I'm like, wow, I'm out of the house. No, literally. It's for work. Uh, no, but I do I do feel like now it's kind of starting. We were just talking about that, but now it's kind of starting to open up. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So extrovert. Yeah. <laughs> extrovert, period. Yeah. Okay. Tall guys or short guys? Tall. Yeah. Is your boyfriend tall? Yeah. He's six foot. Okay. I'm 4'11". Yeah. You're short too. Yeah, I'm short too. Yeah. You know what's funny is when I saw you're your – You're 4'11"? You're so cute. That's why we're like huge, chunky. I wear yeah, like the biggest too. platforms every day. Yeah. I, when I saw your Instagram, I'm like, oh, this girl looks tall. But you're not. You're short. Oh, my God. Why does everybody People say, say about that? me too. You know, because we get our angles. Amen, yep. girl. Angle. Sister. It's the lower. Amen. Really no, li- of course. That's why I'm like, go a little low. Mm-hmm. Go- see, at least, you see? Like, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I mean, go a little lower. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, honestly, I've noticed that. Because when tall people shoot me, it makes me look like a midget. I look really small. Yeah, because they, like, are very- here. So you look, like, compressed. Yeah, I look compressed. But, like, the lower angle makes you just look long. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. The angles. The angles. Sure. The angles. I like tall guys. Yeah. Although I've, like, too. Yeah, dated I feel that. some Actually, short guys. We're we're so short that everyone's taller than everyone's us. Everyone's taller than us. <laughs> True. I've dated some short guys, and I feel like they have, like... Short guy syndrome. They're like, yeah. They like compensate for their. But it's a thing for like because you can be five ten or five nine. You're still way taller than me. Oh, one hundred percent. It's like a thing. I guess it doesn't matter. Everyone's taller than me. Yeah, everyone's taller. I've gone for both, (laughs) but I do prefer the taller ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a thing, a protection thing. Okay, your biggest dream. I feel like I've answered this before, and it's so cheesy, but probably just to be happy. I don't want to like be miserable with my life one day. I don't have a specific one, you know. I love like that. a dream just, just to be just like content with life because I feel like everyone's is like, oh, to own this and do that. And I think I don't really care as long as I'm content and happy and healthy and like financially stable. I don't really care. So that's my <sighs> dream. Just to be like, I love okay. it. Just to be okay. Wait, are you technically a millennial or generation I'm Gen Z. Z? Oh, you are. Yeah. I think I'm a millennial then. Huh? <gasps> Wait, are, are dun, we dun, beefing? Dun. You might, we might be. Have you seen like the beef on TikTok with millennials? <laughs> I send my assistant every beefing? day. I send her Wait, every day because she's okay, millennial. Okay, I'm going to be real why we are beefing. But you're not – you don't look – you know what I'm saying? There's a certain kind of millennial. No, you know like. what it is? Because a lot of millennials are just haters. And I don't like that because I have a little haters. brother. I have a little brother and a little sister. They're Gen Z for sure because he's 16 and yeah. she's 9. Well, yeah. my, my little sister, I don't even know what generation she is yet because she's I 9. I think it's Gen Alpha. Oh, she's Gen Alpha. I don't know. Wow. That's what I heard. I'm like, oh, God, they're going to bully us. They are. They're they're the bullies. No, she's the bully uh, for sure. She's nine, (laughs) but she's the boss. So, I mean, I do love – 
that because my little brother's 16 but like he's already doing stocks he's already like making mad money yeah. like he's doing it yeah. and I'm like bro like you're 16 like Gen you're ahead. way ahead mm -hmm. and I see that because I have them so like they keep me in that like I love what Gen Z is about you yeah. know but there's other millennials that don't have that, I guess, it's, and are, like, the, so bitter. It's the millennials that are just like, I want my side part in my skinny jeans. Have you seen that on TikTok where it's like, I want my side part in my skinny jeans. They refuse, <laughs> to, they refuse to part their hair in the middle. There's uh -huh. nothing wrong with the side part, but when you're heavily just like, I'm not changing my <laughs> side part, like, okay, no one, relax. It's no fine. Way. Or like, I'm not taking off my skinny jeans. Like, we invented mom jeans. Okay. <laughs> no, and okay. That's, that's it for me. It's like, we invented this. We invented No. Like, we probably didn't, our generation probably didn't invent much, so right. stop playing. Like, or they're like, do oh, that. oh my god, I can go on and on. I don't have beef with, like, millennials in general, but that kind where it's like. I have beef with those kinds, like, too, honestly, oh I god, do. I'm literally about to die, where they're like, can't be up without my morning coffee. <laughs> it's a wine night. It's a wine night. I'm, I'm like, crying. okay, we get it, you're older. I'm crying. Like, we get I'm actually it. crying. That's it's that kind of millennial that Gen Z has beef with. It's not like right. normal fucking people. Right. Sorry, am I allowed to cuss? No, yeah, you are. Okay, good. Yeah, you can totally cuss. Okay. So yeah. I mean, I honestly feel like I'm beefing with those people in my generation too. No, yeah. I feel like Because I I literally with them. I was on there was one day that like I was on Clubhouse and somebody like I kind of was on Clubhouse for a little bit, but then I got over it. Do you like Clubhouse or no? Okay. Fun fact. My dad just came <laughs> in my room the other day and was like, Do you have Clubhouse? Like, <laughs> my assistant told me about it. I'm like no, I don't think any of Gen Z has Clubhouse yet. I don't think Gen Z is into Clubhouse because Clubhouse is for my generation to make themselves feel better about themselves, I guess. <laughs> I guess so it's funny. just like, I guess it is. I guess it's just that. <laughs> I'm like trying not to scream in the mic because that's hilarious. <laughs> no, I, I, feel, guess. I feel the same way. I honestly don't know much of what it's about, but it feels No, like, I do feel that though. It feels like a glorified, what is that? Um, a glorified chat room or whatever. Yeah, or like, or, or like AOL what, thing. Oh or my God. What whatever. is that? Um, not it's like MySpace. a social media. No, 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 no not MySpace. I have a MySpace. It's I'm like dead. coming back. I'm crying. I got to tell you about that. But what is that uh, website that people have um, for business? It's like a business. LinkedIn. Website. LinkedIn. It's oh, a it's glorified like a <laughs> chat. With <LinkedIn. laughs> audio. I'm crying. That's a good one. I like that. Mm -hmm. No, that's that's I'm actually I'm not sure. Smart. You know what? I'm not going to hate on it too much because I don't know when this is going to come out and what if I have a clubhouse by then? Yeah. going to count? I do feel like it does need a little bit of Gen Z to just be a little more. I have no idea what it even is. Maybe it, that's what it is because I feel like now it's just becoming a bunch of cap. And I think that that's what I love about Gen Z so much is like – you guys are just like, no, stop the cap. Like, you yeah. see through it. Mm -hmm. Like, and even just the fact of, like, what you want. Yeah, yeah, my generation is, like, what's your dreams? Oh, well, my dreams are... Yeah. And then your generation is just like, I just want to be happy, bro. Yeah. Chill. Like, and I right. love that, though, because it's like, you already see past all that. Like, yeah. it took us all these years to see it, and you guys are like, we're ready there. I'm like, sure, I want a Lamborghini, but, like, also, I just want to Right, happy. exactly. Like, sure, of course. Who doesn't sure, want of course. Things? Right, exactly. But but you already it's know that that's like the overall per like thing because like it yeah. took us way longer and I feel like you guys are way more ahead and smarter. Thank you. No, I'll give, I, no, no, I really do feel that. And I don't think all millennials suck. No. Like my boyfriend <laughs> is like about to be like he's I think he's 1998 and that's still Gen Z but it's like kind of pushing it. Yeah. So I don't think all of you guys suck. Wait, so when does Gen Z start? I think it's 1997 or 1998. Okay, so I just that's missed like, it. Yeah. Oh well. So well. Millennial. It's Okay. You're not like side maybe that's why maybe because I just missed it morning. and maybe that's why I'm like oh yeah maybe. I feel so connected because I don't, I don't like I don't ever like when anybody's like oh well you're the, you're young and you think that this because I didn't like when anyone did that to me I still don't like when anyone does that to me I hate that it's it's the fact that millennials are doing the same thing boomers did to them yeah and I hate that because I to hate I, I hate that yeah. I do that's what I hate about it because I hate how people talk so much about millennials because we were like. Like, oh, the uh, millennials are this and that. And that. And it's just like, why are you hating on us? And yeah. now we're hating on – no, it doesn't make sense. I'm yeah, not doing I it. I agree. Mm -hmm. I don't think – I don't think it's cool. It's a side part that pisses me off. Yeah, you're I so I don't mind funny. a side part. I have you're a side so part sometimes. Funny. It's the deep side part where they're like, I'm not changing it. Yeah. It's okay, a deep – Yeah. Yeah. Relax. That's really a 90s thing too or like when people were in the 90s that came back. So I feel like that – we definitely didn't invent that because that was before when we were like not even born that yeah. it was around. That a lot of things come back like that. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm over that too. That's why I'm like, you know what? I got over Clubhouse quick because I remember I had that conversation with someone one time and it was just like, listen, girl, like she was just like, oh no, like, you know, 
I'm like, you know, been doing this modeling thing forever and people think they could just come on Instagram and Instagram model and then they could just get all the jobs. And and I'm like, listen, girl, like I feel you, but you need to like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like young people just think that they can't work hard for it. I'm like, you don't know that. Like, you don't know how hard people work. And I was like, you can't be mad that they are figuring things out or anyone's figuring things out faster than you. You have no excuse. You should figure it out too. And I literally, and I feel that for everybody. There's no excuse. I just because, like, yeah, no, it is. Because they're just angry. And it's just, we can't be mad because we just didn't have, if you didn't have those resources when you were younger, don't be mad that yeah. someone else has the resources. Just be on that too. Yeah. Get on it. I you agree. know? Like when I found I my agree. little brother was making all this money at 16 from stocks, I'm like, let me get on stocks. Right. I'm like, I'm asking him, can you teach me? Like, right. you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing. It. There's never a time that we can't be that and do that, you know? So, yeah. I agree. And I feel that. The boomers, the bloomers, whatever, they did that to us. So now, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm team Gen Z. Bye. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love my millennials too, though, of course. Whatever. No. <laughs> when is your birthday? July 31st, 2000. Oh, my God. That's a dope birthday. Thank you. What's yours? January 18th. Oh, it just passed. Yeah. Happy I'm a belated. Capricorn. I don't, I think I know like a one Capricorn. Really? Yeah. Really? I think. Yeah. I do. I am really good friends with a lot of Leos. I do love Leos. You yeah. guys are like pretty, like I, do, I love the lions. Yeah, we're a little crazy. Yeah. We're the goat. <laughs> you guys are the lions. It just works. Like there's something about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I do love the crazy though. One of my good girlfriends is a Leo and she is absolutely crazy. Mm-hmm. It comes and, with being a Leo. Yeah. I feel like. Are you crazy about your boyfriend then? Yeah. No. You're a Leo. Okay. Well, I don't care. What she's you really crazy about her boyfriend. Like she's really I think it up. depends what you're crazy about. You know what I'm Which saying? Which part of it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm crazy in general. I don't think I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't think I'm like, I don't care what he does in his free time. I'm great. I don't care if like a girl hugs him. I don't give a shit. Yeah. You What's his saying? sign? Uh, he's a Gemini. Oh. Yeah. That's what I said. I was like, oh. <laughs> he's like pretty cool though. I don't think, I don't think, I think his Gemini is just like, I don't think he's like two-faced. I think he's just like, one side's a little more introverted, one side's extroverted. That's what I think he is. I don't think yeah. he's like two-faced. Yeah. He's really nice. Yeah. I think it's, I don't know, I don't, I don't I don't know much about astrology. Or, yeah. yeah, astrology. Yeah. Um, but I've been interested in Gemini guys quite a bit. I don't think. Oh like, yeah, maybe it's a compatibility. Yeah, thing for I sure think then. it is. Yeah, for sure. It has to be yeah. for sure. I don't mind. So honestly, Gemini's. it's something like that when you're like, I keep attracting this kind. It's like something mm-hmm. about it. Something about them just makes sense. Yeah. You know, I it's agree. just like the air, the air, the air quality. I don't know. I don't know. The air quality. I know. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know much about astrology. Yeah, I do. But then at the same time, it's like. You may know a lot, but it just really ranges on so much. It varies on so many I think things. It depends on the person. It depends on the person. Then, then you got to get into your birth chart. Right, you your just, birth chart. Yeah, you might have the same I've moon done it sign, before. or you might have the same something that you guys. It makes sense. Like yeah. you know, like mm-hmm, me and my mm-hmm. best friend, like I'm a Capricorn and he's an Aquarius, but he, we're both Aries moon. So and like, that's what you guys are like. Yeah. Oh, the way we deal with all our emotions is the same. So it just makes sense. And it's like, oh, that makes sense. We yeah. don't, you know, it's that's like c- certain along. things like that. I like that. But other than that, I'm like, I don't know. know much about it. Yeah. Or when people are like, oh, I won't talk to you because you're this. I'm not like that. Yeah, me either. It's like, you never know. Yeah. That might be like your person or that might become your best friend or something. You, mm-hmm. you're not, you don't want to talk to them because they're freaking, you know, a Taurus. Like, they weird. were just like born in the month of June. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. like, you can't do that. No, exactly. Yeah. I think that's another like millennial thing. I don't think that's a Gen Z thing either. I'm afraid it is. Oh, is it? A lot of people are very into astrology. Like, a lot of my friends are. And I kind of just it's like tune them out. That's like, crazy. Okay. I didn't know that. I let them do their thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just like, okay. I wonder. I wonder why. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. I wonder why. I guess it's just like a level of consciousness that they try to think maybe. People think that they're more conscious when they're into astrology more. Yeah. But it's not that. I just like to like really see how we're connected. I'm like, oh, you're this, and I'm like, oh, cool. You yeah, know I mean? just yeah, it's a little fun, but yeah, I can't, I can't go on and on about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, last question is, are you in a relationship? But yeah, you're in a relationship, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 I am. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so what do you have? Like, what do you have going on? Like, what are you doing? Like, what's what's next on the board? Like, what's the plan? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes. What's the plan? <laughs> Like Always what's 2021 looking like for you? 2021. Well, I was going to – I wanted to do a tour. Okay. Not going to happen, obviously, because I was well, going to tour. tour. Just like do some stand-up, make uh-huh. people laugh. I like that. Meet people. I love you that. Know, just go around and like – I was going to bring people on stage, turn them into Shrek. I have a video where I turned myself – you're like, oh, okay. I actually love that. <laughs> I, I have a video where I turned myself into Shrek and I was like, I really want to do that on my door. It's just like bring a random person up and like turn them into Shrek. Oh, my God. That's so funny. It's a weird thing. I, I actually love do. that. 
Um, obviously can't do that. So, I mean, I make videos every Monday. I haven't missed a Monday in a while. Um, on new, YouTube? Yeah, on YouTube. On That's YouTube. epic. Uh, thank you. Uh, new merch is always coming out. I have a few big projects, but like I haven't been talking about them yet. So I don't want to like okay, I love say that. it because I don't know when this is going to come out or anything. I love that. But yeah, so I don't know. Kind of like whatever gets thrown at me. Okay, so like what – like at the beginning of the year, what were the things that you were like, I'm – I'm Oh, like resolutions? <laughs> yeah. Or like, uh, yeah, I'm going to try. Like to working this. on things? Yeah. Personally, like on a personal level, I was, yeah. like, I was like, I'm going to wake up every day and run. I haven't ran once. You are hilarious. I haven't ran once. Um, well, it's only February like 21st. I know. I still have time. I still have time. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like it's hard. It's It's – it's been hard to be motivated since the pandemic. Yeah, yeah um, it is. It's really hard to say. I have a yeah. couple like personal projects, but other than that, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard to be like, oh, well, I'm doing this. Well, who yeah. knows? Yeah, who Maybe knows what's going to happen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just going day by day trying yeah. to take – Trying to like do anything that's like thrown at me. Like, I okay. love that. I love that. Yeah, go that's with so the flow. Real. That's so real. That really is. Yeah. Yeah, because honestly, you really we really don't know what's gonna happen next. Mm-mm. Everything may open up, but it may be just like pop and boom and status. Yeah. Everything may. And maybe stay we'll closed. be in lockdown for a little longer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? Hopefully, this stops though and yeah. we just like open back up. And I get agree. To it. The only thing I have going on is I have a couple big videos that I'm doing. Uh huh. Like more, I my videos aren't like very professional. Like this is so professional. I'm like, oh, fancy. <laughs> uh, my my videos just kind of like go with the flow weekly. I love um, that. But I've been planning ahead, and I have a couple like big ones that it's like more of like a full production thing where I have to like contact people and stuff. So I'm working on those. Like those are my projects. That's the oh, only that's thing I'll fun. say is like they're bigger videos. That's but so other fun. than that, nothing really. That's actually really exciting though. Thank you. Yeah. Thank I you. mean it's honestly like nowadays I feel like it's a little like like it's so it's so like people just want to know everything about you. Yeah. Like the more you tell and show. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like that gets hard sometimes or do you feel like it's natural and easy? Um, I'm pretty open about everything online. Yeah pretty natural I just like especially on Twitter I'm like very big on t- I tweet like 10 times a day like oh, if I you? want if I want like the other day I wanted a salmon teriyaki bowl I tweeted it I was like I just want a salmon teriyaki bowl right now pretty open about what see I, I honestly what I like. need to get back on my Twitter like game I used to be crazy like like tweet every thought too and then I just kind of like stop I tweet at like four in the morning on. yeah like I'm not like I will literally be yeah. like but I, I feel like those. that's the lit shit though mm-hmm. when you do tweet like those thoughts like hmm it gets, like it gets like, I know it's just like so stupid where it's like, oh, I just want a salmon teriyaki bowl, but it, it like makes people kind of know you better. Like, oh, okay. Tar she craves, likes salmon teriyaki yeah, bowls. Yeah, Tara craves yeah. salmon teriyaki bowls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That sounds really good yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. Right? Yummy. I'm obsessed with them. Where? From where? You're going to laugh. Okay. So my favorite salmon teriyaki bowl is this random market across the beach. Ooh, that in Malibu. sounds good though. That just sounds It's random. Good. It's because I used to like walk there every day from the beach when I was like mm. younger. And get a salmon teriyaki bowl like every day. That sounds so. And now good. I crave them like all the time. That I'm back on my salmon so grind. Bomb. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> so bomb. Yeah, I know. I go in and out of like eating meat, not eating meat, eating meat. I'm, I'm I've been a pescatarian for like seven years. <laughs> I so know. I only I only eat like fish and stuff. Fish, yeah. yeah. I mean, it'll be like moments where like I stop eating every all They're kinds all meat. of meat. Yeah. And then there's moments where I'm just like eating all kinds of meat, and I'm like, what am I doing? Like, what's going on? And I it's know okay I, to have variety. I feel like. I feel like it's just like I want to be plant based, but it's just there would be times where I'm just like, oh, I'm just craving this so bad. I'm plant and ocean based. Yeah. Because <laughs> I eat like sushi. And stuff. I love that plant and ocean based. I can't go, I can't live without sushi. I love it. Yeah, because you grew up in LA and it's everywhere. Yeah. It's every corner. That's so true. I feel like when my boyfriend came from Kansas, he's like, I think I've had sushi like twice. Yeah. I was no, like, I, I have mean, it like twice not, a week. Like, I feel like if it's not LA, it's just not a common thing. Like, but it's so common in LA. It's I like agree. I, ju- I, I just noticed that. It's like every spot, there's a taco spot in every corner, and then there's a sushi spot in every other corner, and then there's a ramen spot in every other corner. It's like, You're right. What's going on? I love Taco Bell, by the way. That's <laughs> you're like hilarious. I want to get like Taco Bell tattooed on my fingers. No, you're not. I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm dead. But I love Taco Bell. You, you know said what, tacos, though, and honestly, I'm like Taco Bell. I feel like LA, like it's weird, but like you would expect there to be a lot more good taco spots, and it's just kind of like it's really hard to find good tacos. Maybe just because it's, I think the way you like tacos, like I don't like tacos. There's a just certain like, way people, yeah, yeah. Everyone has their preferences when it comes. to I tacos. think it's the way that you like it. That's why, I like, it's like I think it's better to just make them because honestly, it's like I'll get the tacos and it's like. I like the lettuce and tomato and like sauce and the whole thing. It's Me too. Like, if it doesn't have all that, it's like mm. I I don't like tacos unless it has like some guac in it. Yeah. I need the guac, guac. and sour cream. I need the guac. That's I for need me. It. those two. And like my thing is is like if it doesn't have any of that, I'm just like mm. 
It's just kind of bland. Yeah. I like fish tacos. What kind yeah. of tacos do you like? Um, like it depends because like I've had fish tacos that were really good and then I've had fish tacos that were really bad. So it mm-hmm, kind of depends mm-hmm. on the spot. I agree. Because one time my girl got these tacos. I don't remember where they're from. I think it's the spot is in Studio City or something. But like they were fish tacos and they were so good. Like they were just perfectly made. They had amazing like lettuce and tomato and the whole thing that I like, mm-hmm. you know, guac. The shebang. The whole, the whole yeah. shebang. And I'm like, this is perfect. And then there was like the other day I had, it was like Taco Tuesday or something. And I went with a few friends, like some spot around here or something. And they were like, yeah, they were terrible. And like they were terrible. They had veggie tacos and they just fried a piece of avocado and put it on the taco. There's nothing more depressing than a bad taco. And I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. Like what's I feel like it would send me spiraling if I had a bad taco. Yeah, it just goes – It makes you like really think like, wait, what is life? Like it's just a simple task. Yeah, just make a good taco. taco. (laughs) I agree. I agree. I'd be upset all night. Yeah, and then someone had like gotten the meat tacos and then just like put like meat on the tortilla and that's it. And I'm like – What? What is that? That makes me upset. Or like when they have like – You know when they're supposed to have the salsa but it's just like onion? And you're like, that's not salsa, that's onion. Right. To each their own. I mean, some people like that. Some people not like me. that. Not me. Yeah. That's what I mean. Really I agree like with that. you. I and like I'm the like, whole no. tomato, avocado. Yeah. It has to have the shebang. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, I need the whole thing. And if it's Taco Bell, slap a nachos, Dorito, taco shell on it. You're so funny. Those are my favorite. You're so funny. Those are my favorite. Those are my favorite. so long. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have it way more than I it should. Because it made me really sick Makes you one feel time. sick. Yeah. yeah. Makes you feel. What do you get from there? Does it make you feel sick? Oh. I get the whole menu. I'm not kidding. I, I'm dead. I make everything Maybe your on the stomach menu. is like immune. I think it is because everyone's like, yeah, I get the shits after I talk about it. Like, yeah. I'm with it. Yeah. Like, my not my me. stomach is like fucked. I think my stomach just one day said, we like Taco Bell. Put, <laughs> they put up like Yeah, like, tents. no, it's weird because it's like, it's like things like that. Like you can build an immunity. Like ramen. Like some people will be like, I can't have ramen. It makes me feel bloated and gross. Yeah, this that's time. how I feel about ramen. Yeah, but I can have ramen all the time. I love ramen. That's my mm. thing. Like how you feel about Taco Bell is how I feel about ramen. Top ramen. Really? Just the packs. Like I don't oh, even I love care. The packs. No, I don't even care about like going to the getting oh, the fancy no. the stuff. Packs, I love the packs because the fancy stuff sometimes is, like too much going on. I just like just the pack. Oh, me too. I love the I love a good pack. I just I, love a pack I like of to ramen. smash it up and just like put it and like have broth with it. Like I like the whole thing. Yeah, it's a good late night snack. It is so good. It never fails. There's taco people, there's ramen people. Yeah, there are. Okay. And then there are both. Then there are both. There's both. Yeah. I, and I, I I feel like I am a little bit of both, but I just feel like LA has made me both because there's tacos everywhere. Yeah. Like literally. I never really noticed that. I always just saw the <laughs> You're right though. This is making me think. No, it is. This is it is. Well, thinking. because it's it's just different. Like like there's like more like the Middle Eastern type of people, like there's a lot of Persians out here and a lot of yeah. Armenians out here. I know. On the East Coast, there I'm was like, Persian. there's a lot of, yeah, everyone. Everyone's Persian. Everyone's here. Persian. Mm-hmm. Everyone's Persian. You try to speak Farsi, like Persian somewhere, yeah. and someone looks over, you're like, oh, you know what I'm saying. Well, like, is it Persian or is it Iranian? Can we talk about it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so people call it being Persian because it used to be the Persian Empire, and then yeah. after a while, it turned into Iran. And then you can some people just say I'm Iranian. Some, some people say they're Persian. Persian. Yeah. And then the language is Farsi. Yeah. So I think that might I just say happen Persian with like where I'm from because I'm from Palestine, but now it's Israel. So is that what's gonna happen? You never know. Maybe. Yeah. I just say both. I mean, it depends. Like a lot of people just say Persian because it's more known as the Persian Empire. It sounds cooler. Yeah. I don't know because there are some people that I feel like also don't want to get rid of the heritage part of it yes because I, I do yeah, feel like okay like if Israel stays Israel it's not gonna be Palestine anymore so I feel like there are gonna be people that, that still say Palestine because they don't want to lose that part of yeah the heritage because it got over, taken over I guess it's a preference like yeah I just say I'm Persian usually more than Iranian because people <clears throat> excuse me mistake it with Iraq a lot yeah yeah so, so I just, you just say like, I'm Persian because yeah, it way kind of easier. differentiates it yeah, yeah. I like that. Not, not, there's no difference if that yeah. was your question. It's the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. Because yeah. I just was like, is there still a Persian community over there? Or is it just like, I think, but I do same thing. think it's just like, like a word yeah. difference. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love my Persians though and my Iranians, yeah. all of them. The They're whole the thing. same. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. There's this, um, there's this comedian who's from, you know, Iran, Iran, whatever, like Persia. And he would just be like, who you is know, he? I bet I know who you're talking about. He's, is it Max Amini? No, he's the one who has oh, the Oh, the bald guy? Yeah. And he's the um, one who has that. Like, Max Jabrani. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. It's is a, it no, Max Jabrani? No, it's Jabrani, no, it's Jabrani, Jabrani it's though. Jabrani. It's him. Yeah. I worked he's with him the, one time. Oh, really? He's yeah. the one with the cat? Meow. I think so. We're meow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. It's not Max Jabrani because that's Max Amini. No, but it's, it's like Jabrani, Jabrani though. Yeah. yeah. 
It's definitely him. He's so funny. He is like, really funny. Like, he'll literally be like, well, we're Iranian, but we're like, we'll say we're Persian. Like, we're cats. cats. Yeah. Yes, that's him. I, and I, I just died. He's a really nice in person. When I was like 10, I was like auditioning for like acting jobs. Oh, really? And I auditioned with him one time to play a, a daughter-father role. Oh, Didn't so Didn't get it, funny. obviously. You just literally unlocked a memory in my brain. Wow, that's insane. That's crazy. That's yeah. insane. He was really nice. Wow. I never got it, though. Wow. They said I looked too old. Like, I looked older than I was. I had boobs. Wow. Oh, yeah. At a young age. Yeah. Same. Oh, well. Grew up too fast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they were like, you cannot play a nine-year-old. I love it. Like, you're 10 with tits. I was like, okay. I get it. I love Fair it. Fair enough. Oh, my God. Oh, my yeah. God. Well, I loved having you on here. Thank you for having me. This was so fun. I loved it. Do you, Is there anything else that you want to tell the audience? Anything else you want to share? Anything I else? I just want to say thank you. This oh, my God. This was very fun. I feel like I made a new friend. This was oh great. God, thank I you know. for DMing me. I know. That was so exciting. I was like, who is this? I had no <laughs> mutual followers, and I was like. I mean, she's verified, so like, I'm not going to get kidnapped. Yeah, <laughs> right. you got to be legit. Right. That's awesome. No, legit. Thank I you know. so much. I'm so happy. I'm so happy you reached out. This I'm is really so great. happy I had that so we much did fun. this. Oh, I love you. Tara, Tara, yummy, everyone. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I want tacos now. I know, right? Now I want tacos too. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>